life on Earth for the next 155 million years. Then they vanished. Discover the unique nature of Australian dinosaur fossils, such as the amazing phenomenon of bones that have turned into pure opal. The Dinosaur Puzzle, next in the world around us, Sunday at 6.30 on 9. Goodyear, Shell, Nissan and Olivetti invite you to catch the excitement of Formula One racing in the Austrian Grand Prix, midnight Sunday on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Welcome to Winston Lottery Super Draw number 298. Trevor Lease from the Auditor General's Department is now moving in, breaking the seal on the barrel, opening the door, which will allow us to introduce our guest drawer for the Lottery 298, who is Tony Jones. Tony, welcome along. All right. Uh, Tony's the uh, a young man who packs uh, a lot of punch in Western Australia's uh, big hope, and Friday's the big night, Tony. Yeah, I'm on for Jesus Romero's at uh, Perry Lakes Basketball Stadium. All the very best for Friday night. We'll now invite you to draw the first prize in Super Draw 298, $50,000. There are 75,029 tickets. Please draw one. And the winner is L. Palfrey, 185 Nangara Road, Wanneroo. Well, there we are. First prize of 50000 in Super Draw 298. Tony will be back in just a moment to draw another 10 prizes of $500 each, and then we'll be back with a complete list of prize winners in Super Draw 298. For the best value video package in Perth, it's Video Discounts. All movies are just $2 a night. There's one of the largest ranges of titles in WA. Now available, Cocoon through CBS Fox, Year of the Dragon through Thorny MI, and Weird Science through CIC Taft. For under $20 annual membership, you get 12 free rentals a year, and they're open from 10 till 10, seven days a week. Be it video discounts this Friday to Sunday, and the first 1,000 new members will get a free Schweppes family pack. Video discounts, the best value in video. It's a September summer. At Imported Ceramics, they've got stack upon stack of surplus stock and now they must clear it. All of it. Look at these genuine discounts. There's 30% off these bathroom tiles, 40% off these floor tiles. Patio and kitchen tiles are slashed to clear and a huge 50% off these surplus wall and floor tiles. It's on right now at Imported Ceramics September sellout. So grab your checkbook because 1,000 styles must be sold by mid-September. Imported Ceramics Centre, corner of John and Fitzgerald Streets, Perth. Here are the results of Super Draw number 298 drawn by Mr. Tony Jones. First prize of $50,000 went to El Palfrey of Wanneroo, sold by Shenton's Tobacconist of Mirabuka. Ten prizes of $500 each went to S.L. Hughes of Kalgoorlie, A.M. Blair of Victoria Park, S. Oddy and J. Rawlinson, R.L. Crow of Palmyra, M. Hardy of Padbury, D. Margetts of Hilton, V. Drakovich of Scarborough, Volker Martinek of Bateman, T. Helgerson of Kingsley and R. K. Bussell of Collie. This draw also includes two instant prizes of $10,000 already paid to F. T. Williams of Donnybrook, sold by Collie News, and S. and S. Industries of Bellevue, sold by Midland Gate News. Checks will be posted to Super Draw winners, subject to the verification of prizes. can safely clean just about anything in one hour. They even clean curtains, bedspreads, leather silks and suede. And your clothes smell snow eye fresh. So what a difference you can feel. Snow white. Your Toyota dealer has run out of room. He thought ahead and bought up huge stocks to beat the price rise. This means we're wall to wall with thousands of new Toyotas at the old price. So now's the time to buy. Squeeze in and save big bucks on Australia's greatest selection of cars and trucks. Remember, wall-to-wall -wall stocks means wall-to-wall -wall savings for you. So see your Toyota dealer right now. Because of these prices, stocks won't last. Oh, what a feeling, Toyota! Highline garages, carports and patios, garden work and farm sheds. All very practical, all very affordable. Quality materials and solid construction ensure Highline products not only look good, but stay that way. There's great colours to choose from. Really strong. It'll last forever. It's got everything you'll want in a shed. Any shape or size, Highline, have the luck. For a free measure and quote, call the Highline hotline now. 
Highline, they've built their reputation. Graham's Leatherhouse in Cottesloe offers you a distinctive range of furniture. Like this fabulous three-piece Bianca lounge suite for only $1,995. Or the elegant Balmoral Chesterfield available at only $1,375. A seven-piece travertine marble dining suite, only $1,345. Or this Laurent two-and-a-half-seater settee in soft leather and priced at an affordable $1,195. Experience the pleasure of choosing your own furniture from Graham's Leatherhouse in Cottesloe. You must never lose your femininity, Jim. Jeannie Gunn, a woman ahead of her time, heading for a land time forgot. Her story is a much-loved Australian novel, the classic We of the Never Never. The fact is, it's going to be difficult for her out there, and bloody awkward for the men. Jeannie, get on your horse, get on your horse! Tonight, Channel 9 presents the story of the love and the courage of a remarkable woman. Angela Punch McGregor leads a fine Australian cast in We of the Never Never, 8.35 tonight on 9. Tonight on Willisee, a man who collected doll payments using two names. He also had a girlfriend help out when business went bad. She went into prostitution to get you out of a jam. To get out of it, that's right, to get out of a jam. You were living on the earnings of a prostitute. I was not living on the earnings of a... Well, yes, you could say that. At 6.30, we'll see you then. Save up to $2,000 on Chimera, Gemini, Astra and Barina demos, plus $1,000 minimum trade-in, including $500 cash back at Brian Gardner Holdings. The Prime Minister says Pilbara Unionists must change with the tough economic times. The so-called cannonball run ends in Perth after smashing legal speed limits in four states. And a police safety check puts more than half of the Rottnest Island Board's fleet off the road. Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of the Channel 9 News. Anne Conti and Greg Pearce with you. The Prime Minister says the Pilbara Iron Ore Industry Unions must adapt to the tougher economic times and phase out unproductive work practices. But speaking for the first time on the historic dispute at WA's huge Robe River mine, the Prime Minister also came out strongly against the tough tactics of the Pico Walsend Company, sacking some 1,100 workers and ignoring an arbitration commission order to reinstate them. Peter Harvey reports. Union leaders warn the company's hard line poses the most serious industrial confrontation in 30 years, but Pico says it'll risk the trouble. If we had a continuation of the practices that were uh, taking place at Robe River, that project would be like a lot of other Australian mining projects and would steadily become uncompetitive. The Prime Minister brought into the dispute today, saying the company must obey Arbitration Commission directives and start talks with the unions. But you're not going to have the best environment for having that sort of discussion and getting rid of unproductive work practices if you have this double standard about saying the unions must obey the law, but we'll, we'll abandon it. And uh, at the, at the law. Mr Hawke also sense. said union work practices have to alter to meet the tougher economic time. The sacked iron ore workers in WA's Pilbara have set up a vigil outside the Cliffs Robe River operation at Wickham. Marie Mills reports the men are still arriving for duty despite their dismissals. But both the unions and operators, Pico Walsend, are preparing for a protracted dispute. 24 hours after Pico sacked these men, and they're determined to take up even unpaid positions. But if you all stay there, make sure you all stay for eight hours. The anger is heated and directed sharply at Pico Wall's end. We're sticking here, we're not going out. We're here at Christmas, mate, we don't give a bugger. Would you guys at least concede you really were on a pretty good racket? And you have been for the last 10 years. No, it's not a racket. No. They gave, gave it all to us, you know. If, it, if your boss offered you an extra $2,000 a year, you take it. Morning, and the anger isn't easing, it's escalating. The clear light of day, the next shift change, and this brief information session is as close as the men have got to a stop work meeting. The sacked workers have been told to accept back pay and accrued benefits, but not to spend it, while the union continues its fight for their jobs. The men plan a 24-hour camp at the site gates to stop Rhodes River bringing in scab or contract labour 
while unions throughout the Pilbara have begun a fighting fund for the sacked men and their families. Battling just as hard, the women like Evie Dawson. Nine years a favourite company tea lady, she was moved to yard duty. Cleaning up and the big hoses that they have to hose things down with and pick and shovel. Evie Dawson will leave PICO now, but what still scares her is the dispute's effect on Wickham's young men and women. It's become a very tense, frightened, maybe it will get to violence, I don't know. Meanwhile, in Karratha, Industrial Commission hearings haven't discussed the sack workers today. They've been arguing Pico Walsen's original log of claims, but company representatives refused to say whether they were making any headway. The fate of the workers now rests on hearings in Perth later this week. Marie Mills in the Pilbara for Channel 9 News. The Industrial Commission met in Karratha again today in a bid to resolve the dispute. Reporter Marie Mills is in the town. Marie, was there any progress? And I'm afraid not. The uh, meeting broke up at about quarter to four this afternoon and nobody was looking terribly happy. They've all flown back to Perth now for what they call more formal hearings.